I'm Velvet Fitzpatrick and I'm a doctoral candidate in the School of Engineering Education here at Purdue University. I'm in the final stages of my doctoral program. I'm a candidate now, so I'm not taking classes. I do my research and I'm doing a lot of work in my assistantship. I also volunteer to be on different panels that mentor future researchers in engineering, so undergraduate researchers. And it, just like you, you have a personality. So just because someone is number one in their field doesn't mean that you're going to work with them. I, you guys have all been on group projects where you don't really like the person you're working with, but they're like your best friend on Friday nights. So that's the kind of the same way with your advisor. You want to know that they do have a personality and they're not going to have everything you need, but if they have the majority of the things you need and the overall you like them, then you can kind of build your team, which is your committee. So we meet to mentor each other, and they're actually going to be future mentors of other people um, that are researchers in STEM um, to make sure that they develop while they're here at Purdue. What you're supposed to be looking for, I think you can ask your mentor that specifically and say, okay, what am I supposed to be looking for particularly in these cells? Um, it's the balance of being mentored and mentoring others um, and participating in panels and having mentees or working for uh, volunteering for different things like JPER, which is the Journal for Purdue Undergraduate Research. I'm able to continually see other students develop who are engineers or scientists. Um, and in watching them develop, I see myself in the different stages that I was as a young scholar. And so I've seen how far I've come. Um, it also lets me know that I've chosen the right discipline of engineering education here at Purdue University. Hi, my name is Lindsay Payne. Um, I'm a graduate student um, in Ecological Sciences and Engineering, and I'm here today to film a short segment for my induction into the Teaching Academy this September. I came up with this idea of an innovative partnership between industry, academia, and community partners. And obtaining funding from the Ford Motor Company in 2012, and then um, the Alcoa Foundation in 2013, I was able to create an authentic design experience for these students where they collaborated with stakeholders as well as uh, volunteers in co-designing and implementing a project. They demand that we incorporate their feedback and um, their critical reflection into redesigning courses that are authentic, that are, that are active learning, that, that really truly meet the demands of the world in which they are going to be soon enough. And you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that by continuing to do this, we will create essentially those students that will help create a sustainable world. Hi, I'm Daniel from Ghana. Um, my major is Agricultural and Biological Engineering. Hi everyone, welcome to the Global Cafe program, a program that allows for sharing and also for the engaging in discussion on identity and culture. I have another special presentation um, by Simone Aguirre. My first question is, uh, what comes to mind when you think about this? Soccer. Got involved in a lot of extracurricular activities to balance me from my rigorous um, academic and research schedule. Um, I continue to take advantage of um, the many resources that are available to graduate students here at Purdue. My special resource that I enjoy is the libraries. Those are two things that I believe make life very comfortable for graduate students here at Purdue.